Crafton Television is a global multimedia platform aimed at positioning the African viewpoint in a way that promotes the 21st century narrative of an empowered Africa. The station running nationwide on Star Times channels 124 and 480 is situated in Lagos State, on the state in Abuja. In order to give back to the society, King Adebayo Films in Tiaza Hat, Network Limited headquarters situated in Nondo West local government on the state, have taken the responsibility to give back to the indigen of on the West through training of the youth on the various aspects of the media by partnering with the Ekimogun youth. You know, when the company was to be established in January 2017, we decided that it was going to be a company that would be different from the existing media houses in Nigeria. At that time, we discovered that there are a lot of unemployed youth. We still have a lot of them in the country as well. And we know that these individuals, they are brilliant, but unfortunately, the kind of educational system we have at this very point in time is a system that failed to give the, or to equip our students, our young ones, with the 21st century skills. And we also realized through our research that virtually everything that they are doing in, in, the, in, in the media space is something that we can actually train the young ones, that you don't need to have a 20, 25, 30 years experience before you can actually excel in it. And we started with the intent of bringing in young people, train them on equip them with the skills that will make them to be well to be independent in society aside from working in the media house we also expect that many of them that will be trained within the organization will go out and do well for themselves in a lot of other places and so far in the last four years we have been able to we have been able to achieve that at least to a credible extent aside from the fact that 95 percent of the members of staff that we have at this Point in time, they were the people that came to the that came as core members without any knowledge of of uh, of media and all that. But when they came, they were trained and they are doing well. When the committee was inaugurated, in our own thinking, we sat together and decided that the major reason for all the youthful exuberance and youth restiveness that we have around. It's actually born out of poverty and lack of empowerment for the youth. There are many of them who are graduates of reputable institutions. They can have a job that they will do, and they cannot think out of the box to find job for themselves or acquire skills that they could put to use for self-reliance. So it was a major objective of the Youth Advisory Committee of Undo Kingdom that we're going to see how many of these youth can be empowered. And the empowerment cuts across many spheres of life. Empowerment in the area of ICT, which the Kaftan Television is a major part of. When we approached the Kaftan Television, the leadership of Kaftan Television said they appreciated the, our idea. And we are coming to them, we are not coming to ask for money, but at the same time we are coming to ask for skills that our persons can be able to take away tangibly and mobile skills, but that they, 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 don't, they can only relate when we get the recommendation of the Abaye, that is uh, the Kabis Yoshima Wheel of Undo Kingdom, which we were able to get. And when, the, when Abaye gave the uh, recommendation, they gave us the opportunity to train 50 youths every three, three months. Yeah, that means that we can train Five, uh, 200 youths within a year in TV production. When the Ekimogun, uh, uh, Ekimogun uh, people came and they, have, they have, were the one who approached us with the, with, with the proposal, and we thought oh, this proposal was actually uh, 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 similar to what we already had in mind or what we already implementing with the core members. So we decided that, okay, let's extend it with, to the people at the community level. And by and large, we have not had cause to regret because the last three, the, the last three months of this training was actually a very good one. We had no problem with any of the trainees. And we were fortunate that, they came, that, that the young people came with the intent to learn with the minds to learn, and a lot of them left the organization with the 21st century skills. On the 25th of January, 37 under youth resumed to Carton Television for their training. The training, which lasted for three months, 
began with the theoretical aspects where all heads of each department in Captain Television took it as a responsibility to train them on the various field. The theoretical training took a month as the trainees were exposed to the practical aspects of the media. One of the descriptions we have in our scripts, uh, 25, is the actor can come and change it and say a guy can even pass this stage. It, it is possible if it can bring out the same uh, meaning in the story, things can change. So we'll see the magic that the director wants to do, yeah, perform like in this, in this work. So we are still leaving it up to the director. Then after directing, if those things still remain, we can say, oh, it's unnecessary now. You just made us waste our time. Honey, I'm sorry, but you have everything to yourself. The morning, cast, fame, and power. Sorry, my foot. Can you hear yourself? Is it all about fame and money? How about my feelings and emotion? You see, I lost you long ago, and I'm used to your absence. So what you're trying to do, like you're trying to remove, like accommodate them this way, is possible, it's valid, but we're still going to take care of that. The way you're doing it is not smooth enough. There's a way you would do it. If he is going to do it, you're going to die. In the space of a month, trainees were exposed to the training of cameras, graphics, editing, producing, reporting, and presenting. It has always been my passion to work under a media organization because I have this passion for media stuff. So I'm so lucky to be one of the selected candidates. My experience so far has been so wonderful, great, and super because I, I learned so many things which I didn't think of because I thought um, media is just you carrying camera, going out there to video, stuff like that. But this is totally like a TV broadcasting, which is totally different from what I have the idea of. For me, when I got here, I was not looking at people like, ah, no. you know, that, that spirit of, okay, I've been in the system, let me just see what's going on. But when I got here, I realized it is more wild than I thought. So I, I began to, I have to calm down and forget whatever jargons I felt I know I've known before. So just to learn new things. I got interested because it's a variation. It, it's, it's a big different thing from what I studied in school. I studied home economics education and I was like, media, fine, let me give it a shot. At least I've been seeing people on TV and I usually think when they're reading the news, they must have crammed it. So for them to be able to cram, that means there's something brilliant they're doing there. And I now got there and I discovered the magic there that it's not about, it's not about cramming anything, it's about prompting. You know, you just compose yourself. When I got um, the link of Captain TV for their trainees, when I saw it, like I was just going through some, some of their programs, like editing, stuff like that. I was only interested in the editing, not because I can't say I'm much more like uh, passionate about presenting or stuff like that. But when I saw it, I was just like, you know, on YouTube or Facebook and stuff like that. I used to watch some comedy, some skits, and the editing and stuff like that. I love it. I want to. I, I wish I could do them there. So when I saw it, my only interest was in the editing department. I was told to do some things in news department, where, whereby Mrs. Olamide told me to do some things. So when I go to news department, I feel like I couldn't do much in news department. So I told her that I won't be able to participate in this news department because I don't know how to face camera and do all sorts of program and all the stuff like that because I believe I'm an introvert. I don't like whereby too many people sit down together. Like I don't know how to face people. So things like that. So I decided to move on to editing department. The training was not limited to learning the media alone, but also exposed to the trainees to theater hat. As some of the trainees were taken to location and trained on how to shoot movies. Movie came up, which is, which was written by one of the HOD year, which is um, Tanu Yami. So, and I was opportune again to to serve as the continuity in the movie, which I don't even know what continuity means at the first place, but I was opportune to put in. When, I, when we got to the movie location, I was learned within just two days by a professional continuity. 
and later on I take off the whole thing for the whole 10 days in the location. I learned what it takes to be a production manager. I learned to, I got to understand that production manager is like a power bank of every location. You, uh, every power day, is, uh, PM manager is added with the responsibility of scheduling location, looking at the welfare of people, connecting with the cast, I mean the actor and actresses, and all manner of things are entailed as far as production manager is concerned. And there are a lot of challenges. And I have been, I have been actually got the pre-knowledge about the production manager. Whenever an individual is running insults on you, you just need to calmly address the issue without being violent with them. Because violence plus violence can never give any lasting solution. And then uh, I haven't gone outside before to sleep like seven days without coming home. So during this thing, it was a very challenging experience. Although I actually, I went to my comeback, but it has been strenuous for me. But I learned to build my skill against stress there. That whenever I'm seeing that opportunity again, I would have been fit for that same role. Also introduced to the drama aspect of broadcasting, which I was given an opportunity to act as a set man, an assistant set man, and I've, and I've learned a bit. I've known a bit about set too, so I can, I can design a set for simple, simple dramas, um, but I can't go to those modern Hollywood dramas. Well, I want Nollywood, yeah, I can do something on that. Before the end of the second month, Captain Television have successfully trained an individual on how to report, presents edit and handle camera. Today, I am proud to say I can go out for reports with the camera. I can undo the camera and return with quality videos. I can edit my reports. I can create on air content and do fillers, record fillers and edit my fillers. Also, I can produce news. In the middle of second month, all trainees have successfully learned handling of camera and editing. The station known for engaging the youth gave some of the trainees chance to present on both English and Yoruba channels. Iba, follow the Mario Obato, Dawa, see your Bato Shawa, see your Bawa, what you go, Bawa, be lower. I will love one more to do to share a lot of Wally, where a toy, while you can make a ton television to Yoruba. No, a lot of today by it to my Bolo, you are not a lot more for you back to back, lots of lots of today. Just then you go more, it's a good bank, Lily, because I think just our Lama Majans in me by on the fire has been hot as a day hot and I'm a free. Hello, and welcome to Amazing Inside. We are taking you through some of the beautiful and tourist attractions you can ever itch to visit. Today, we will be focusing on the beautiful sites in the Sunshine State. Sunshine State is predominantly occupied by Yorubas who speak various dialects of the Yoruba language such as Akoko, Apoi, Idonre, Ikale, Ilaje, Ondo, Owo, and a minority speaking the Ijo language. In this stage, one of the most talked about attraction is Idonre Hills. Hello, welcome to Gazdat. Here we bring business ideas and how to go about the business of your dream. Today on Ghosted, we are looking at starting fashion designing business. Fashion design business is a lucrative business that can get you little or more weekly. By investing in fashion design business more today, you can grow up to the level of the big names in the industry in the next few years. Eku de desko ye nye nyo wani le e miyo mwa ino mo tisi deso ju woro yi lo ni. Lori e to ogba gede lo. Ni pa ya tu wani boro. Lati mu oro ti o kwa wara ilu wasi oju woro yi. Oro ti o si kwa wara ilu ti amu wasi oju woro yi lo ni nan ni oro ti o jemon. E to abori le de Nigeria le ito mehe. Ati wani boro bayi. Lati bi anwen yon wa. Se tu wole ro kwe ale mwe. Nikpa to abo wa ti o mehe yi. E oru kote mi ni fe. Shi ke mi adi e mi o la ya. Hello, you are welcome to another episode of Etiquette 101. Today's topic is sleeping etiquette. Your behaviors during the day and especially before bedtime can have a major impact on your sleep. They can promote healthy sleep or contribute to sleeplessness. Hello and welcome to Staying Healthy. 
I am Adita Adelaide, and I'll be taking you through steps and processes to take towards staying healthy while saving more. Today, our focus is reshuffle cookery. First off, what is reshuffle cookery? Reshuffle simply means a dish of warmed up dishes left over from previous meals. So with the term reshuffle cookery, I simply mean reheating leftover food to be served as it is or by converting it into a new dish. Uh, welcome back, people. I hope you all enjoyed that beautiful uh, uh, industry report. Now, moving on to today's episode of Business Focus. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, has revealed that to ameliorate the harsh economic effects of COVID-19, Nigeria and other countries in sub-Saharan Africa will need additional external funding of $425 billion. It is an interesting three months for the youth as some of them state their experiences. Initially, I came here with the purpose of learning camera operation, but then I got here. The, the funniest part is that I can't even operate the camera, I can't even operate a computer system because I'm no, I'm not pushing to use one before. But again, I got here, and I and I interacted with people. I, I mingled with people, and they put me through. And thank and thank God today, I can even edit a full program. It was very very interesting, amazing, wonderful. I met a lot of wonderful set of people, and not to talk about our trainers, they were so awesome, ranging from the camera department to producers to all of them they're just really really wonderful people i made friends i learned i unlearned i relearned it is also a fulfilling three months for the station as the head of the station and ekimogo president talks on the future of the youth we want to solve the problem of unemployment not by trying to create jobs on paper but we are creating the people who can find jobs for themselves by being able to demonstrate usefulness by, by themselves and create values. And by those values, people will be able to pay them for the values commensurately for the values in which they provide because these are technical values that have to be consciously learned through training. And it's not what any other person can be able to do except you are trained. And that is the steps in which we are we have taken. So gradually like that, we have such trainings already lined up. One training for one quarter of the year. So that by the end of the year, more than 500 youth would have acquired one skill or the other, which they can all now fall back on for self-reliance, job creation for themselves, and even for others. So with that, we are very hopeful that in a matter of a short while, the society will be rid of the Street, street children syndrome, which seem to be staring us in the faces, and we can be sure that with all those skills, they can rub their shoulders side by side any other youth from any part of the country, and we can see them becoming more responsible adults. When the training started, we had no plan to retain any of them, but due to the where they performed during the training. So we decided that it would actually be good to extend the opportunities that we have been given the core members to, the, to, to, do, to this individual people at the community levels. And we decided to retain two among them. Aside from the two, there are a lot of them, even over 30 of them that were, that, that were employable. But you know, as the organization, it's impossible for us to employ virtually everybody. We can't, an organization or an individual cannot solve the country's problem. The only thing we can do is for us to equip them with the skills, which we have already done. And we are hopeful and we, are up to, and we believe that all of them, as they, as they left the company, definitely they have what it takes to succeed out there. Any media organizations where they approach or where they find themselves, definitely the, those media organizations, they are going to find them uh, worthy, of, worthy of their employment.